If you're not already familiar with it, there's a great group of jazz musicians on Facebook, both amateur and professional alike, called Jam of the Week. It was started by a fellow trumpet player, Farnell Newton, and in this week, they are using Autumn Leaves as their jam tune of the week. So this week's video, I'm going to be using Autumn Leaves and two licks from my Lick of the Day series in what to do with these licks. So if you're ready, let's jump into this week's video. <laughs> the 10th straight week of what to do with these licks. If you followed me through videos one through 10, thank you so much. You already know the format of this video, but if you're brand new, welcome. What I'm doing is I'm taking two licks from my Lick of the Day series, this week specifically August 22nd and August 28th of 2018. You can check out those original videos right there. I'm gonna take these two licks, I'm gonna play them in a couple different keys. Then I'm going to put the licks into context, which means I'm going to play something a little bit before and a little bit after. This way I'm taking my own ideas, sandwiching this lick in between those ideas, and hopefully over time I absorb that lick into my own language and my own natural playing. Then I'm going to show you what I might do with those two licks over Autumn Leaves. Now there's a link down below for that Jam of the Week Facebook group. I would love for you to take these two licks or the play along that I'm going to have right after and have you try that video out and post it to Jam of the Week. I think that would be a great idea and we can just continue to build up the community over there. And so let's jump right into it. So August 22nd, I'm going to play the original lick and I'm going to play it in concert B flat. In previous weeks, we have taken different strategies, and I'm not going to go over all of those different strategies, but last week I outlined in key areas a minor 7 chord. This week I thought we would raise it up and make it into a major 7 chord. So we already did concert B flat, now I'm going to do concert D, concert F, and concert A. So let's start with concert D. And then, of course, Concert F. And finally, Concert A. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, but with the August 28th lick. I'm going to play it in the original key first. This is Concert B flat. And of course, we're just going to run it up those other keys, Concert D, then I'll do Concert F, and then Concert A. So now, let's put it into context. Now let's take those two licks and put them into concert B flat or concert G minor. Like we talked about last week, we can interchange those two because they're relative to each other. And let's see what we might do with those over autumn leaves. <laughs>
did those two licks work out using that play along in your own plane? I'd love for you to share your video on that Facebook Jam of the Week group. And hopefully this week's video was beneficial to your playing in some way. Be sure to share it with other musicians or friends that you think might enjoy it. And as always, I'll see you next week.